Hi, I'm Ted Sensenbrenner, one of the Boat US trailering guys. Throughout the year, I help trailer boaters solve common problems that happen with trailers. Just like a pilot does a walk around of the aircraft before they take off, you should do a walk around of your trailer for the same reason, safety. We're going to go over 10 things you need to check each and every time before you trailer your boat. The first thing you want to check on your trailer walk around is the coupler. You need to make certain that your ball size is the proper size for the coupler. In this case, we're using a 2 and 5 16 inch ball. Next, you need to make sure that the coupler attachment seats firmly on the ball and it's latched. As a final step, you want to put a pin through it to make sure that it doesn't accidentally come uncoupled. The second thing on your trailer walkthrough is the safety chains. In this case, we have safety cables. Either way, we'll want to cross the chains or the cables underneath the trailer tongue. The reason you do that is if the trailer to become detached from the bumper of the tow vehicle, the trailer tongue will be caught before it hits the pavement by the cross chains. You'll want to use a locking mechanism for your trailing cables or your trailing chains. These, is, these are much better than your standard S-hook, which could come detached over a rough or bumpy road. While you're here, you can also attach the trailer brake light and rest of the lighting assembly. The third thing you want to check on your walkthrough is to see if there's any fluid under the brake actuator if your trailer has brakes. While you're here, you might want to check the reservoir of the master cylinder to see if you need to add any fluid. In this case, it looks like we need to add a little extra brake fluid, which we'll do now while we're thinking about it. Next, you'll want to attach the emergency breakaway cable. This will apply the trailer's brakes if the trailer were to become detached from the tow vehicle. The fourth thing you'll want to check on your walk around are your tires. This is one of the number one reasons people call for trailer assist. Check the condition of the tire by looking for spider cracks on the sidewall. You can also insert a penny, a Lincoln penny, with the head down into the tread. If you can see the top of Lincoln's head, it's time for a new tire. In this case, we've got good tread. Next, you'll want to check the PSI of the tires. You should keep in mind that the PSI for trailer tires is much higher than a passenger car tire. In this case, we're looking for 50 pounds of pressure. This tire is good to go. Next, you should look for an ST rating for your tire. Only ST tires are rated for trailing. It's a misconception to believe that you could use a light truck tire or a vehicle tire. These tires are made for trailering to handling higher loads and, and lower speeds. The maximum speed for this tire is 65 miles per hour. The fifth thing on your walk around should be an inspection of the bearings. It's another common reason we get called for trailer assistance. You can check the underside of the fenders or around the wheel to see if there's any flung grease. That could indicate a bearing failure or a problem. You want to make sure all the lug nuts are in place and secure. You can even open the dust cap to make sure there's good grease inside. With that in mind, we're good to go. Number six on your walk around is your outdrive or your outboard. You should raise them both so the propeller doesn't hit the pavement while you trailer your boat. If you raise those items, you might want to use a device called a transom saver. That supports the outdrive or the outboard with the transom so that it doesn't put undue strain on the back of your boat. In this case, we have neither an outboard or an outdrive, but we do have a ladder that was left down. We should raise that, and in this case, we also have trim tabs. We're going to want to make sure that's raised in just a moment. The trim tabs are now up and we can move on to number seven of the trailer walk around, the drain plug. Go ahead and inspect your drain plug, open it up, and make sure you're not carrying around any extra water. Remember, water adds up fast. It weighs approximately eight pounds a gallon. No water here, so we'll put the drain plug back in for trailering. That way you know that it's in when you're ready to launch your boat. If you're expecting heavy rains, however, you might want a trailer with the drain plug left out. Some drain plugs look like this, which is what we're using here, and some drain plugs look like that. You may even have another type. Number eight on your walkthrough are your bunks and your rollers. We have bunks on this boat. Make sure you've got good coverage with your carpet. Check brackets for rust or corrosion. In this case, we're looking pretty good. You'll be able to do a better inspection once the boat's off the trailer. At that point, I'd recommend you replace anything that looks suspect. 
Number nine on your trailer walkthrough are the trailer lights. You'll want a friend or a family member to turn the lights on, press the brake, and turn the signal on. Number 10 on your trailer walk around is to make sure your load is secure. You can start with the transom strap and make sure it's nice and secure. We have a gunnel strap as well. This needs a little bit of an adjustment, so we'll give it a few ratchets. Then you'll need to make sure that the tail is secure. I'll go ahead and lead it up here to this cleat. That way it doesn't blow around while we trailer the boat. Some people actually twist the gunnel strap so that it doesn't vibrate at high speeds. Now we're not done back here just yet. You want to check and make sure your load inside is secure as well. I think I'll remove these life jackets so they don't accidentally blow out when we're going down the highway. I'll put these in the tow vehicle and I'll meet you up front. Our boat is now secure at the stern, but I think we should double check the front as well. It looks like our bow winch could use an extra turn or two. I'll take up on that now. You should also attach an emergency backup chain. This is just an extra precaution. And finally, our boat has a backup to the backup. If all else fails, this will catch. Now we're done. Now that we've completed our walkthrough, there's a couple extra things you might want to consider. Spares, for example. You should always have a spare tire on the rim and properly inflated, ready to be installed should you need it. You also might want extra light bulbs, fuses, and some brake fluid. Whether you're on the road or on the water, Boat US is always there to help you. And don't forget your Boat US membership card. Our numbers are on the back. I'm Ted Sensenbrenner, one of the Boat US trailering guys, and I'll see you later in Boat US Trailering Magazine.